Hi, I'm Mark Richardson with the Case Institute of Remodeling, and welcome back to our series titled It's Your Time. In this series, we've looked at this subject of time through different lenses. However, today, as we close out this series, I want to walk you through a little bit of history. This history, I think, is an evolution of where we are today. Let me begin with, I don't have a crystal ball, and I'm not a psychic. In 2009, at the Pro Expo Tour, we talked about the remodeling outlook. We'd just come out of, obviously, the stock market crash, issues in the economy, real estate, housing issues, and the attempt of this particular talk was focusing on helping, I think, thousands of people understand sort of the stars and planets and how they were aligned. In 2010, the focus was on the future of remodeling. Now we looked at the environment and the lay of the land. What did the future look like? And there were actually seven themes that we talked about. We talked about the subject of it's critical that you understand it's more about a spreadsheet than a hammer. It's important that you understand there's a new sheriff in town. It's important that you understand that you needed to change or become irrelevant. In 2011, the focus was on positioning your business for the future. Now all of a sudden you needed to break apart the business in terms of the many different elements including marketing and sales. We talked about how important it was to make it easy. Easy for your client to buy. Easy for your client to understand that your ultimate competition out there was not other remodelers. It was not even the economy and oftentimes it was a client fears and how you needed to understand that. In 2012 the theme is it's your time. As I travel around the country, 10 to 20 percent of the business are not having good years, they're having record years. And one question they are not asking me is when is it going to get better? I think it's so important that you put the stake in the sand. As you think about the future, we know it's going to happen. As I said, I don't have a crystal ball and I'm not a psychic. However, I think we really do have a choice. And that choice is we can watch the future happen. We can sit back there like a deer in headlights and wonder what happened, or we can put our stake in the sand. And put our stake in the sand and get out there and make it happen. And that's my challenge to everyone here today. Get out there and make it happen. Take care, everyone.